this time on building the X set. I got the valve train installed. Now it's time to install the camshafts. First step is, uh, you know, this is a lot similar to installing the crankshaft uh, without the bearings. So um, putting the camshafts in, uh, you'll see there are these uh, five journal areas here for each camshaft. And basically what you want to do is you want to take some assembly lube first off and go ahead and get the bottom portions, the head portions of these uh, journal bearing areas uh, all lubed up and, and ready to go. Once your assembly lube has been applied, um, basically to all the journals on your camshaft as well as the uh, journal bearing areas in the head, you are able to set the camshaft into the head. Now it won't go completely in because some of these lobes are almost touching the um, valves, the lifters, so there will it will keep it up somewhat off of the journal areas. Um, as you are slowly cranking that down, that will compress and start to compress that valve. Um, I haven't found much info online, but from what I've seen, most everyone seems to be installing them with the notch here on the end of the camshaft up. Uh, that seems to be, to me, the closest area for having um, zero contact with any valve. Um, no matter where I have tried to turn the camshaft, as you can see I'm doing here, to rotate it, no matter what there is, um, it seems to me at least, some slight um, contact with some of the valves. So the closest thing I found is notch up. Uh, this here is the exhaust cam. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it in that position uh, before uh, lubing up all of my caps and installing them on the camshaft. So now basically, once all my caps are cleaned and ready to go, time to apply a little assembly lube to each one. And set it into place on the camshaft. Went through with brake clean and cleaned all these up real good. If I had any ones that were real, real nasty, I put some carb cleaner on those. And then blow dried them off thoroughly to ensure there's no dirt or grains or residue in there. Now the one difference in these caps is the frontmost cap, the one that holds the oil seal, the factory service manual also calls for it, and by it I mean this cap here, must have, this cap would go like this, and you note the E for exhaust, this must be inserted like this but it needs to have some silicone sealant put on both sides here for a sealing surface to the head. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some black RTV sealant um, as the specification I saw was just a small amount of silicone. Then I'm gonna take that, and I should probably use a tool here, not my finger, but oh well. I'm going to dab it over there. I'm sure I got a nice, thin, consistent bead around that area. Then I'm going to set that last cap in place. Now these will all need to be torqued down to around 100 to 125 inch pounds of torque. Make sure that's very important, inch pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but first I need to put my bolts in. I am going to dip the threads into some oil first before I insert them into the caps. Okay, so right now I'm just hand tightening the last of my cap bolts down here into the head as far as I can. <clears throat> And then I will be starting now the uh, torquing sequence. 
<clears throat> now I'm not sure I haven't seen anything specified about this but um, I am going to slightly raise the bottom of the head off of the table here as um, since there is a slight amount of contact um, to the lifters from some of the lobes on the cam I want to make sure in case any valve moves down it doesn't move down too much in case I've set it incorrectly I don't want to be kind of pushing the head up from a valve coming out while I do this. So I'm going to uh, shove a 2x4 real quick underneath these bolt flange here for the exhaust flange um, to uh, get that off just in case that's the case while I um, while I go ahead and torque this puppy down. Okay, so now I'm just at 120, uh, 120 foot-pounds is what I've chosen for my torque setting. I'm actually going to just snug these down real quick with the torque wrench. I'm not going to actually torque it down. I'm just basically going to kind of try to seat the cap here going through the torque sequence given by Mazda. And basically, let me get it pulled up on my phone here real quick to show you. The sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to go through first of all in the in the torque sequence and just run around just to get some tension on the caps as I want to evenly apply pressure onto the caps before I go to torque it down. Before doing my final torquing, I'm just going to go around and make sure all my caps have seated evenly on both sides that I have metal to metal contact throughout. I don't want to find that one of the caps is skewed a little bit and not actually going to be seating correctly because that will cause some uh, some issues down the road. So everything looks good here. So now on to my final torquing. Okay, that is the exhaust cam installed. Everything is torqued down and ready to go. Skipping ahead here, I've now um, <clears throat> gone ahead and secured the intake cam as well. So both camshafts are now installed and torqued down. Now, next step I'm going to do, and I've already installed the exhaust camshaft seal. Here, I'm going to install the intake camshaft seal. Now, basically a seal, you want the flat end pointing out toward the front of the car. This inside should go in toward the engine side. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get a little bit of oil and you wanna lube up this inner shaft here, just wet, just enough to give it a little bit of um, slickness when the seal is sliding over the camshaft in. Okay, now that that's done, we're basically going to gently make sure the seal doesn't fold up like this. You wanna use that lubrication from the oil to just kinda slide it over the top there. See if I got that right, yes I did. And up to the camshaft. Now I'm taking an aluminum, um, seal installer. I don't have one to actually, I didn't have a socket big enough, I should say, to to go around this. It was just a little short. So I've been taking this and just dent, gently tapping it evenly. A little harder, this one, than I was having with the last one. I'm basically tapping this. Let me try holding it here. seat correctly and basically just evenly go all around until the seal is flush 
or just a hair past, and you can actually just barely fill the seal bottom out in there, I would say. I don't know if that's actually what's happening, but you can definitely feel, to me at least, a point where the seal is seated. But I've just been going, making sure that it is flush all the way around. If there's any lips poking out, I'm basically going through and just giving it another tap in that area. Feels good all around there. So both my camshaft seals are now installed. So basically that is it for the uh, camshaft part of the video here. Um, basically the next step here is actually going to be attaching the head onto the uh, block of the motor, getting the head gasket going there. Um, I'm going to be doing that in the next video here, but thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, see that I missed something, please uh, let me know and I'll respond. But uh, anyways, thanks guys. See you next time.